The Ad Show. Mmm. Ads Experience mug, buy now, except you can't because this is a limited edition one for my use only. <sighs> Lovely. Can't beat a nice mug of tea on a Monday morning. Anyway, so, yesterday my mum said to me that she was going to a town called Winsford, which is about 20 minutes away from where we are, and I have not been to Winsford for ages. Mainly, or sadly, really, I should say, because the charity shops aren't very good. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to tag along this morning because I want to see the difference, see if the, the charity shops have changed in quality any, maybe they've got a bit better stuff in, I'm not sure. I really don't know. I'm, I'm leaning towards po possibly not, but still, you can still get some items from, uh, you know, charity shops or locations where... They aren't really brilliant or the quality isn't brilliant. You never know, so uh, you should never really judge an area completely saying it's 100% bad because even some of the, the poorer areas I've been to uh, with regards to you know charity shops and quality and all the rest of it, I've still got some decent items. So we're going to go there today. There's about five, I don't know why I'm doing ten, there's about five or six charity shops there, so not as many as other towns I normally go more regularly, like Macclesfield, Altrincham, Northwich, uh, Nutsford. Well, actually, no, Nutsford has probably less than Winsford, but yeah, you get what I mean anyway. So we're going to go down there. We're also going to record, or hopefully we're going to record, a GoPro car talks video as well in the car, so that'll be a different video to this one. Uh, and we're just going to do a vlog. We're going to go around the charity shops all the rest of it as normal. There is an Asda there as well, so I may go and have a look in the Asda to see if there's any RA deals. I don't particularly think I will because it's currently the 17th of November, so it's not really quite that time for deals yet. Um, certainly, sort of er very, very early December, there might be a few deals on certain Lego Advent sets and stuff like that. But currently, at the moment, I don't particularly think there's going to be huge discounts or anything. But again, it's always worth a look. So that's what we're going to do, and also I'm going to tag a whole video onto the end of this video, like I often do with these vlogs. Um, so yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get going and let's see what we can find today. Right then, so we are here in Winsford. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, we are here in Winsford, and we are going to have a look around the charity shops. You're going to go around the ladies' stuff, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can find, and let's get on with the day. So, hi guys, here we are. We are doing a charity shop vlog over in Winsford, which is a bit of an uncommon location for me. As I mentioned at the start of the vlog, I've not been here for a very long time. There's pro approximately five or six, I was going to say four then, but I think it's five or six charity shops in Winsford. Um, and unfortunately, it's not the best town. It really isn't. That's why I've not been here for so long. So if you are in the sort of Cheshire area, I would avoid Winsford personally. I would go to places like Macclesfield, Altrincham or Northwich, they're a little bit better, Northwich is the local town near me um, and yeah you know if you are in that local area I would stick to sort of those ones, uh, Nutsford, Winsford, places like that, they're either too high prices or they're too low quality but you can see here I'm still having a good look and actually there's a few really really nice items, unfortunately I didn't pick them up because of the prices but there was a really really nice piece of fat lava, a lovely deep boot blue piece that uh, probably would have got about 40 or 50 pound on eBay having you know waited a little bit for the right buyer to come along but unfortunately it was sticking up quite high and it did have a couple of little faults to it as well uh, so I didn't actually pick that one up but there was also a nice little camera set on offer um, but again I looked at the price on the bundle and they had it sticking up at £70 for the bundle and I'm sure that's probably around retail or possibly even a little bit more than retail uh, but yeah on, on eBay that would have been really really nice it's just these places seem to stick them up too high or simply 
street, the quality isn't there. But you can see here, we're looking through all different parts of these charity shops, Blick of Black, DVDs, clothing, all the rest of it. I'm having a really good route, although I didn't, although you can see the shoes there, I didn't have a look at the shoes, I just literally scanned them uh, with the phone uh, while I was recording, but no, I didn't look at the shoes there. Um, but I did have a really, really good look, I had a really good route for stuff, um, and it just seemed today uh, like the things weren't there. I mean, as I've said many a time, you'll see in these videos, it's the God's honest truth. Uh, sometimes I come away with stuff, other times I don't come away with stuff. On this channel, I do try and provide a balanced view of what it is like reselling from charity shops. Sometimes I come away with nothing, other times I come away with a lot of stuff, and other times I come away with sort of a middle a level of stuff or just a, a medium level of stuff uh, rather than loads or nothing uh, and that is generally how it is that is the uh, honest truth about how it is really but anyway I will leave it there for this little uh, audio narration and uh, I will let you get on with these clips with a little bit of music So we are back now. I didn't actually get anything from Winsford. However, I did well, I did get some uh, Poundland stuff because I really wanted to do a Poundland haul. I saw Carla had done one and I thought, you know what, I really want to get in on the action and do a Poundland haul. So, well, it actually wasn't Poundland. It was not quality save, home bargains or something it was called. But same difference, right? You know, it's all the same kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I didn't get anything from the charity shops. But what I've decided to do, because I don't want to kind of just waste the full footage I've got from the vlog of Winsford. So uh, I'm going to go into town tomorrow as I normally do on a Tuesday and the haul that I get from town I'll tag on to the end of this video. So that'll be what's coming right after this clip. So I won't do any further rambling. Hopefully you will enjoy the haul and I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you what I picked up from Northwich after my somewhat failed trip from Winsford. Now, uh, there will be a haul video on the channel for the stuff that I got from Winsford from the Poundland. So it's going to be a little bit of a different haul. Um, I suppose it's going to be more related to sort of saving money. Not no, It's not going to be related to... Um, reselling of course but just I picked up some random stuff from Poundland I set myself a budget of a tenner and uh, yeah I thought I'd do a video on that so uh, there will be that on the channel at some point or possibly it's, it's already come out I'm not sure but with that being said let's get on with the stuff that I did pick up to resell specifically uh, from town today so I've got a good handful of items here um, and yeah I will just get on with it and share with you the first item so I went into a charity shop and I found this and it was stickered up at a pound I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that on the top there but it was stickered up at a pound it's this 3d uh, board game uh, i think it's a free yeah it's like a 3d board game batman it's by jumbo which do a lot of puzzles and things like that and i didn't actually pay a pound for this i technically i paid 50p i went up to the counter and they said um essentially uh it's buy one, get one. I think it's buy one, get one half price. And essentially, I needed to pick up another item. So I walk over to the board games and DVDs because uh, the lady at the counter said it's on DVDs, it's on board games, it's on various different things, vinyls and stuff. Anyway, I walk over, wasn't really any DVDs that I wanted, um, but I did see another sealed board game. Now, ordinarily, it's not really something I would have picked up. And to be honest, even in the circumstances, I was afterwards, I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked it up. But I was at the counter. I, you know, obviously I needed to get another item for it to be buy one, get one half price. So I just, I just picked it up basically. So uh, technically I got this for 50p. I'll show you the other item here. This was the other item. It's a crossword jigsaw. As you can see, it's not really something that I would pick up unless it was really, really cheap at a car boot or something. Now it was stickered up at 350 don't know whether you can see that on there, but it was sticking up at 350 and that's quite high. But I uh, walked over and I had that, you know, I, I knew that obviously these two would cost me 450 and I thought, oh great, that's going to be £2.25, half off, right? 
But of course I forgot how it normally works, like it works in supermarkets where you get the cheapest item free, so you, you don't actually get that much off as, uh, you know, off like the total price. So anyway, uh, she said what I'm going to do is take the half off the cheapest item, so I only got 50 pence off, so I paid, uh, I didn't pay 450 for these items, I paid £4. Well, that means that they both cost me two pounds. Like if you if you're adding it up in that way, or you could say this cost me three fifty and that cost me fifty p. But either way, it's it's four pound. And if you're divvying them up between the two, that's two pound each essentially. So I've kind of not come out any better at all because that one there cost me theoretically, or in this way of kind of uh, mathematically adding it up, that one cost me two pound now, not one pound, and I got something that I wasn't particularly wanting anyway for two pound, which is probably more than I'd like to pay. So I don't know how, but I've turned the good positive thing of, um, uh, you know, buy one, get one half price into a negative thing for myself. I don't know how I do this, but anyway, uh, I think I'm looking at about £10 on that other board game you've seen there. And on this one, it's really hardly worth selling. I mean, on eBay, the prices are really, really low. They're below a tenner. I've seen one, not this exact version, but another version of this crossword jigsaw. I think it's the green box version. Go for about a tenner free postage, or it was 5 99 plus like four quid postage or something, which is basically a tenner uh, which is basically the same as like a tenner free post so i might put it on oh well, i will put it on but i'm you know i might put it on at around a tenner free post and just hope it goes i mean it's currently december 20 uh, sorry november 20th uh, and so we're around that christmas time so it might go but to be honest, from four quid into 20 quid there, you know, free post, it's not brilliant. And I thought I had done pretty well at the start. I thought, oh yeah, this is brilliant. You know, buy one, get one half price. And then, yeah, it, it didn't work. When I, when I was reviewing it afterwards, I was like, hang on a minute. I didn't, I came off worse there. But yeah, that's those two anyway. Um, it's funny how that happens though. You know, how something good can turn into something bad like that. It's really, it's really odd. But anyway, that's those two there. So next I got this Anna... Anne, is it Anne? Yeah, Anne Celia um, painting. It's in this really, really lovely gilt frame. It's not a huge painting, and that actually goes in its favour because, as I've said before, you know, a lot of people don't want massive, huge paintings. They like these sort of medium-sized ones or, or small to medium-sized ones that we can just put, put on the wall quite nicely. Now, this artist is... Um, I don't think she's like really, really well known, but she commands a bit of money and she is somewhat of a known artist kind of thing. So essentially I've seen some of the larger pictures from her or medium to large go for, I think maybe maximum around a hundred pound, maybe 70 to a hundred pound. This is slightly smaller than those paintings that I saw, but it's still a nice one. It's obviously signed by the artist as well. And it really is in this lovely gilt frame that doesn't seem to have much in the way of marks or anything that I can really see. It's in fairly well, well kept condition. So I paid 13 quid for this and I've seen it stickered up in this same charity shop for 25 quid. I think it was even up as high as about 40 quid at one point. And there was no sticker on it. For some reason, it had changed position in the shop and there was no sticker there. I asked, you know, oh, I've seen this before, you know, how, how much would you want for it? And then the chat shop manager is one that I somewhat know, I'm familiar with her. And uh, she said, you know, just give me a price and I, or, you know, I can say yes or no, can't I? So um, I said, well, I don't know whether you're going to like this, but, you know, I'd be looking to pay 10 quid. She said 15 and I said, would you meet, you know, would you meet me about 12 quid? Anyway, we ended up meeting at 13 quid and I was umming and ahhing for a while, thinking, well, for about 20 seconds, which, you know, feels in that circumstance like quite a while. I was umming and ahhing and I think, oh, 13 quid, how much could I get for it? Is it, you know, is it worth it? And so now I think I could probably get about 40 quid plus my postage if I wait on this. There's the potential for a little bit more, but I really think I'd be pushing it if I went for 50. I think it'd probably sit for quite a while, but certainly lovely looking painting, you know, known artist, uh, lovely gilt frame, 40 quid, I definitely think, possibly 50 quid, but I was thinking... 13 quid, how much can I get for all that sort of stuff that runs through your mind in those circumstances. But I did take it because personally, you know, I let my heart rule me a bit because 
it's just a lovely piece and even if it doesn't sell i'd be very tempted even though i don't have space on walls or anything but i'd be very tempted to keep it myself so uh, when that kind of comes into it I'm not too worried because I'm thinking, well, if it doesn't sell for that, which I do think it will sell for around 40 plus post, but if it doesn't sell for that, you know, I've got the option because it's something I like um, to, to keep, just simply keep it for myself. So that's that one there, really lovely painting. And maybe I could even put it on for 50 quid and just try it and see. And you never know, it might go for 50. I might be shooting a little bit low. I might actually... Um, you know, I, I might actually be going a bit low on that. I, I might be able to get a bit more. But, yeah, that's that one anyway. Really, really lovely painting there. And, uh, yeah, just a nice little purchase. So, next we've got something that many people who've sold vintage stuff before will be very familiar with. This is a uh, one of those brown old Bakelite hair dryers. I don't know exactly the era of this. I guess it's maybe 50s, 60s, I would say. Something around there. It's certainly not older than... Uh, sorry, certainly not more modern than 60s i would say that's the um kind of the latest it could be i don't think it's 70s or 80s or anything like that but i would say maybe like 50s or 60s these come out coming at sort of age wise and yeah as i say a lot of you will have seen these before they are simply uh this little baker like hair dryer in here now unfortunately this chain that kind of holds the box well it kind of I think it holds the box open a little bit more. Um, that's actually come off. There's no screw in there. But it should be a fairly easy fix. I'm thinking that I could probably fix that. Probably just put another screw in there. It should be as simple as that because this bit here is just screwed on. So I think that I should just be able to screw that back on and it, and it should be fine really. Now I didn't see that when I was buying it, which I should have done. Um, but I didn't see that. I've only seen that when I got home. Um, and I paid a tenner for this, which is on the higher end of what I would want to pay, but I did pay a tenner for it, and I am, um, well, they're all over the place, and they have been all over the place for a while, these. There was a time that we were maybe more steady, and you could solidly get, let, let's say, 30 to 40 for them, but now they're a bit more all over the place. There's ones that have gone for, like, 15 quid, 20 quid, 25 quid, 25 quid best offer. There's one or two in the last three months that have gone for 40 quid. There's others that have gone for 35. So, really, it's a vast range. It's all the way from 15 quid to 40 quid, really. With And that's what it's like with a lot of things now, with a lot of products. You really don't know. But what I'm going to go is I'm going to fix that uh, chain there. And it is, other than that, it's in pretty decent condition. The mirror's not too bad. I just just give that mirror a little bit of a clean up uh, and the unit itself is in pretty decent condition there's a sticker actually on the other side or i don't know whether it's actually a sticker or a label or something but it's really the label's really really clear in fact let me just put it down now i just i don't want it to kind of fall back on me here the box but uh, that's why i wasn't getting it out properly but uh, you can see there i don't know whether you can see that label there for the age of the, the item that label's in pretty decent condition uh, there's a little bit of kind of fading to it on the edges and stuff but it is in pretty decent condition and as you can see the unit itself is in decent condition for its age so oh wait let me how do i put oh yeah it's this way in it um so as i say i'm thinking i can get that fixed up and stuff i'll probably you know that chain and stuff and give it a bit of a clean up i'm gonna whack it on for about 35 quid plus my postage if i need to come down to 30 plus my post then i will do but hopefully i will get 35 for that so 10 quid into 35 pound on that one and then finally the other item i picked up or the last item i picked up well actually it was the first item i picked up but it's the last item i'm showing you guys is this little kings and queens of england mug now this one is interesting because it goes before 1066 a lot of the rulers and the mugs and these historical things that that uh do these dates in chronological order uh they don't go before 1066 i've had a ruler myself uh, one of the kings and queens rulers and it doesn't go before 1066 so it's nice that we've got that on there and I looked at this in the charity shop, and it's got a really lovely wide handle on here. You know, you can put quite a few fingers through it there. And it's just a nice looking little piece. It also kind of extends outward at the top here. And I was just looking at it and I thought, that's, you know, that's a well-made, that's a good quality mug. And I looked on the back anyway, and it said, Dunoon, Dunoon, D-U-N-O-O-N, made in Scotland, designed by Carol Dad, Caroline Dad. Um, and it's uh, it was £2 there, stick it up in Cancer Research. 
And I thought, you know what, I don't think I can really go wrong for two quid, but I'm going to have a look on Complete and Sold. So I had a look on Complete and Sold in the shop, and some of them were listed uh, brand new for around 20 quid. I don't know whether any had sold brand new for around the 20 quid. Possibly they have. Um, but I did see one that was pre-owned that had sold uh, not too long ago, actually, for 13 quid, 12.99. That's free postage, but I still thought from two quid, uh, yeah, no doubt I'm going to pick that up, and uh, potentially two quid there from that mug into 13 quid. And it should be a fairly f a quick flip on this one. I can see this mug going quite quickly. It's one of those mugs that I don't feel will sit around for long. It's kind of one of the more uh, faster-selling mugs, quicker turnaround mugs. So, yeah, really nice-looking mug there i'm really really happy that i looked into it and i did pick it up um and yeah two quid there into potentially 13 quid so happy with that one and that is everything for today's little haul only a few few items there but again a couple of items that maybe are touching that 40 or 50 quid which is nice um and that mug i really do like that mug i generally normally pick up uh, just Disney mugs when I see them. I don't really pick up any other mugs. I mean, there's been on occasion I've picked up some other licensed mugs here and there from different uh, toy companies or whatever it may be. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I don't normally get other quirky mugs like that. So that was interesting. I think I picked up a few Alton Towers ones and stuff like that in the past. But it's interesting to find a mug here and there that's a little bit different. So... Anyway, with that being said, I'll leave it there. Don't forget, if you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't already as well, please do like the video if you did so like it. Any comments and quest questions or queries, please do drop them down below. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.